home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 20 team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on another SEC rival, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Gators will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. So the Ole Miss Rebels offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David, when he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. The Rebels are in the hurry up. The play action fake. It's caught. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. To the air. It's dark. Unloads to the wideout. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Yeah, that was a good play of the ball. Get his hand up and get the tip. Get the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air. Falls to the ground. Incomplete pass. After the incompletion, it's second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Lee. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Uh, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Back to the air one more time. And they can't make the connection on third down. You just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you can regroup this. This environment is hostile. And the Rebels will punt this one away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Florida's offense will go to work for the first time today. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the defense. They say big-time players make big plays in big games, so who gets the best of this matchup? That's going to determine the game. I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game, the head-to-head -head matchup that everybody wants to see? It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. This time, they'll go to the running game. The Gators are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Mr. Two Bits would be proud. The Gators standing up and hollering for a first down. How does that cheer go? Well, first you have to have the yellow shirt and the striped tie and go two bits, four bits, six bits, a dollar, all for the Gators. Stand up and holler. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Keeps the legs moving. Puts him in the spin cycle. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend 
when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Feeling some heat. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field, but the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. The Gators will send out the punt unit. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Quarterback on the keeper. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. And off from the shotgun. Couldn't find a lane, a pickup of one to the 31. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Pulls and fires complete. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Rebels are moving quickly down the field. The inside handoff. Enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43 yard line. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up.
To the air. It's Dart. Fires to the wideout. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And they'll send out the field goal unit. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Working that left side now. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I like the idea of going draw there. You're trying to sell pass, but you still need to do a better job up front executing those blocks. There's too many one-on-ones where they got beat, and as a result, they suffer a negative play. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Back to throw. It's Lagway. Makes the grab on the left. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. During the week, you got to talk to your quarterback. Quarterback, what do you like? What's your favorite, safest routes, easiest reads? Love coming out with those early with the short passing game. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Badger. And he picks up enough for the first down. We'll see if they get another snap here in the first quarter. We've come to the end of the period, and Ole Miss is on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. And the Gators are rolling down the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Nowhere to go with the ball and down he goes at the 39. But when it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. The back goes in motion. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Just leaves him grabbing air as he gets down to the 35. This is a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Lagway. Throws to the wideout. And the missed connection on third down. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man to man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. 
So they'll send out the field goal unit. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And with the field goal, we are tied here in the second quarter. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. He'll keep it himself. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Got it behind the line. It's Harris. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. Grabbed in the backfield. It's well. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. For a wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers, and they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. How about this confidence in the running game? And he picks up nine just short of the marker. It'll be fourth and one. The Rebels send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Hawkins. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The run to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll go to the ground. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. A third and long coming up here. They go to the draw. Nice move there. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find your rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game. Trying to get rid of it. 
Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Third and short from the 49 is this four-down territory. It'll be a draw. Smashes through. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You gotta get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The Gators look to keep this drive humming. A jet sweep pass. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains and he's got it at the 34. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Quick handoff. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. They're strong, and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. Ryan's his big tight end. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. That's just a tremendous individual effort by the defender. He's able to defeat his block and get to the ball and get the ball down on the ground. Very, very nice job. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. Looking downfield, it's Lagway. What a snag by the defense. Bringing it back. He's inside the 40. He was thinking touchdown all the way, but he got it down to the 26-yard line. I love defenses that make big plays, that understand what they're trying to get from the offense, understand how to attack it, jump some of these routes, make these interceptions. And then not only that, when you get the football, try to do something with it. Don't slide down. Don't take a knee. Try to bring that thing back to the house. You set your offense up for great field position. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. You know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch him get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. And they don't want to waste this great field position here on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Quickly to the tight end. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And for the second time in this game, he'll try to knock through a field goal. This one, a 41-yarder. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You would have liked to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Bringing it back. And the returner will be brought down. 
The Gators sending the offense back to work. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. The Gators in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Lagway. Catch open down the middle. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man on the right. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. And the Gators have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300-pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to him and they forced the incompletion. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and 10 from the 46. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. This defense is heating up. They got an interception in the last possession. You could tell breaking on the football really, really well, seeing where the quarterback's throwing it, going to try to get it. Got another hand on it, almost had another interception. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds a soft spot in the middle. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And if you had any questions about this quarterback's arm talent, now you've got your answer. Wow. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Field goal is good. And the three ball locks us up as we get closer to the half. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Coverage team dare to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. And a first half that's been dominated by this special teams unit. How often do we say that? But it's a dynamite group who understands football isn't just about offense and defense. And what they've done through two quarters is help tilt the scales of this game. What adjustments the other sides can make is going to go a long way in determining who wins this game. With that said, let's send it back to our guys and all those chomping hands there in the swamp. And the Rebels will kick it away first and we'll start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Hawkins. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. 
First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do we're just going to do it better but then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense we're going to find out here and a really nice job by the defense winning second down i think the quarterback thought he could dump this off maybe get some positive yards set up a good third down the defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground now on third and ten if they can move the chains here maybe they can get this drive started it's a draw He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum, not only of a series, but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you want. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And with this place rocking, the crowd forces a false start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On the run, it's Parrish. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Chunk it away just as he was hit. A little floater there that falls incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls in. The Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. Bringing it back, it's Hawkins. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds his man out of the backfield. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. This offense has a second down play. Takes a handoff and he's going right. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Putting together a real scoring thread here as they pick up the first down at the 36. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. The Gators with the first and 10. Handoff to the lone back. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. 
you want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Back to throw. It's Lagway. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. And, uh, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. Not able to pick up that first down, David, but if I'm them, I'm going again right here on fourth. And I think you knew that on third and two, short yard situation. You got it close to fourth and inches. Now we're going to get this first down. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And now they regain the lead. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Grabbed in the middle, it's Harris. Wrestled down at the 32 after a pickup of five. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Looking for a man. It's dark. He finds his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They'll run play action. And that pass picked off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down. They can be in position. But they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. And here comes the offense on second down. Hand off to the lone back. Sweet feet on the move. The Gators get it past the sticks. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. And they get the sack just like that. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play.
first down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. He'll try to pop the draw. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Rolls it in. Touchdown, Gator! What a grab and go for the score. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the half. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stop follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Caught in the backfield, it's Wells. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Rebels will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He's got great speed. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. After the misfire, now on second down. Dropping back, it's Flagway. He's got an open man. Got a lot of room to the right. Touchdown, Florida! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. When these offenses get in a the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too. Get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. They'll try to add another to their lead.
And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three possession, 17 point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Davis. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense. Stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll pull it on the read. Maybe a three-yard pickup there. Third and long coming up. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. He'll do it himself. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out more space. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. And the Rebels are marching down the field. Looking to pass. It's Dart. Dumps it to the back. He's got his man. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. When I'm a quarterback and I see zone and I see my guy curl up real quick, I got to hum it. And he threw that thing with some revolutions, with some velocity right to his receiver so he can make the catch. The Rebels are threatening in the red zone. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackle is made after the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. It's complete to the left. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. Give to the back. Smashes through. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. 
That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of it. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they'll try to bite a chunk out of this lead on third and goal. To the air. It's dark. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. If I had told you that one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football was going to have less than 200 yards passing in this game, you might not have had that on your bingo card, but that's what's in fact happened. This defense has done an outstanding job getting pressure on him like they did right there getting the sack. Looking to throw. Snagged on the outside, it's right. And he is stopped out of bounds, well short of the goal line. Not even close as this defense would not let him get in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that was a big-time stop defensively. Being physical, creating a negative play on that last run. Now you're setting up third down. This is the critical time. You've got to find a way to get off the field. You're trailing late in the game. Give it back to your offense to go see if they can score. And the running game has been disastrous on the last couple of plays. They'll try to salvage the drive on third down. Leaves it with the back. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. He gets it away from his own end zone. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. And the ball is intercepted. He'll try to take it back. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Gator. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. To throw, it's dark. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's in the Joes. They just, they're just not as good as the opponent. And as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet and not remember it. 
forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe it's something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. He wants to throw. Grabbed behind the line, it's Parrish. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short gain. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. And listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Looking to throw on second down. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. Trying to get to it. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Timeout called by the offense, 29 seconds left on the clock. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. He's looking to throw. Gets rid of it. Got a man. It's Wells. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. With the clock running, this should be the final play. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Grabbed on the outside, it's Priestcorn. 